first at six. Temperatures going to get much colder to start your work week. With temperatures reaching the single digits and wind chill in the negatives, it's going to create some dangerous conditions out there. Two News reporter Kyle Yutska live with what an expert has to say to stay safe in these extreme elements. Well, first of all, don't be outside stuck out in the cold longer if you have to. But if you do find yourself stranded outside in the bitter cold, well, here are some few tips from a local survival expert. Inside this downtown Dayton business, you'll find items designed to keep you alive, like an emergency blanket, bear attack deterrent, and freeze-dried food that'll be safe to eat 25 years from now. Well, I'm an old Boy Scout, so I've always sort of been into the uh, off-grid camping and hiking. Omega Survival Supply owner Matt Jones says his shop has all kinds of gadgets that could help anyone during an extreme situation. Starting at 11 o'clock Sunday night, the Miami Valley will be in a wind chill advisory until early Monday afternoon, making temperatures feel close to 20 below. Jones offers a few items to help make the winter months less harsh, but says sometimes common sense goes a long way, like dressing appropriately. Who knows what day your car breaks down, and if it breaks down in 15 degree weather and you've got to walk someplace, you know, then you're going to be in big trouble. Planning ahead and being ready for the worst possible scenario is Jones' specialty, and says what he has in his hands are items you may want to consider keeping in your car. A ration bar like this is a thousand calories. It's going to run you about four dollars, but again. Again, this has a shelf life of five to eight years, and they taste pretty good, actually. A packet of water like this can be as little as 50 cents. Uh, again, it's going to be good pretty much indefinitely, and they won't burst if they do freeze in the car. Candles, you want to have a safety candle. I wouldn't recommend just lighting a candle openly in your car. You'd want to have it contained somehow. These run 15 to $20, and again, they can raise the temperature in your car quite a bit.